Hello there, YouTubes. This is the old Brandon from Team Two Bananas coming at you with a new series where I go over all the Q and A's of uh, the DBS card games, starting with uh, set one. So I'll do the first structure deck, and then I'll go into set one. The next episode will be the same thing, uh, so on and so forth. And then at the end of the series, um, what I'll do is every time I see an update for the Q and A. I will um, make a new video posting those. Uh, this will allow players to be a little more informed about how reactions work. I know sometimes I do forget uh, them once in a while, um, though. I've seen a lot of. I've seen it for a while now, but I, I usually help out players when I can. But I thought this would be the, one of the best ways to give out the information by just having one spot where you can just listen to it. Because I know having to read through all of them is kind of a pain in the ass. So just listening to it when you're like driving your truck on your days that you work, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or when you, you know what I mean, you're working Friday, Saturday, because you're a police officer, or whatever you're doing, whatever you do, or doing whatever, you have free time, just listen to this in the background, that way, help you get, be a little more informed. Also, I'm going to be start DMing again, um, I know this is completely not DBS related, but I'm um, we'll be doing streams of that sort of online campaign that I did for about a year and a half, almost two years, starting back up, and it should be a lot of fun. Anyways, we'll get into it. Uh, the starter deck, The Awakening, we are referring to Soul Striker. The first Q&A form, and the only one, is um, can you choose not to draw cards off the auto skill for SSG Son Goku, the Soul Striker? The answer is no, you cannot. You must draw the card when it activates its skill, when the auto skill activates. If you didn't know what the card it was referring to, it's referring to this card right here, uh, Super Saiyan God Son Goku. He's the first structure, he's the only structure I've set one. Is referring to this skill right here. Um, when it attacks, draw one card. So you have to draw one off the attack. Uh, the next Q and A is Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku Maximum Energy, as well comes in the structure deck. Uh, this card gained dual attack thanks to its card's effect. Um, if you play another card on top of it, evol uh, using Evolve that turn, will the new card also gain dual attack? And the answer is no, it will not. Um, a a card played with Evolve only inherits effects that change a card's power. So, like, any increases or decreases will stack over, but, like, double strike criticals, anything like that, as well as leaders as well. Here it is the card it's referring to. Um, it's talking about uh, this auto right here, about this card. Attacks against dual attack. This will not transfer over if you happen to evolve another card on top. So, it is what it is. So, this is the first card we're going to be talking about. Um, is Champa. The uh, first question, um, the questions are all about this effect right here. Um, so you'll notice that uh, when, your le when your battle card attacks a leader card, if the attacking card is 15,000 or more power, draw one card. So we're going to be focusing on that, and it triggers once per turn. So the first uh, question for that Champa that we just showed you, um, can you choose not to draw cards off of Chompa's auto skill? No, you cannot. You must draw a card. So that's saying the when you attack with 15,000 creature, you have to draw a card off that effect if it meets the requirements for it. Um, the next question is, one, when one of your battle cards with, with less than 15,000 power attacks for the first time, does the auto skill of Chompa activate? Yes, it does. However, you do not draw a card because it doesn't, it doesn't have the requirement to draw, but it still triggers because it's the first time a creature attacks. The next question is this skill the auto of this skill skills of champa and sand Kaba activate simultaneously in this case in this case can you draw a card off champa's auto skill when two or more when two or more of your auto skills activate simultaneously you can resolve them in any order you choose so there's two ways to resolve this uh, one allows you to draw a card the other does not allow you to draw a card the first one if sand Kaba skill is first the card's power will uh, key 15,000. So you can draw a card. So if you attack, take the life, gains 10,000, uh, you will draw the card. But if you use Trompa skill first, um, since it's only 5,000, you will not draw that card as it, say, as it states in the next line below. This is the card it's referring to, say in Kaba. Um, it says when this card attacks, you may choose one card uh, from your life out to your hand against 10,000. Since it becomes 15,000 with a 10,000 buff, you'll be able to draw the card. Uh, the next question is about Vados on the front side. Um, can you attack your own active battle cards? Uh, no, you cannot. 
As you see on the Vados, which is the next set of questions, um, this card uh, can attack active battle cards. It obviously makes sense that you can attack your own. There'd be no point to that. Now these questions are for the back side of that. Can you attack your own um, battle cards in active mode? No, you cannot, just like the front side. Uh, can you choose not to draw cards off of Aid Vados' auto skill? No, you cannot. You must draw a card. As it shows you right here, um, this card can attack active battle cards, but you can't attack your own. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one card. Uh, if this card attacks a battle card, it gains 5,000 for the duration of the turn. So it becomes a 20k if you attack a battle card, uh, but you still have to draw that card and you can't attack your active battle card. So there's that. So the next set of questions we'll be talking about Assassin Hit. When this card attacks, draw one card and it gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Auto, once per turn, when your opponent activates a blocker, you may place one red card from your hand in the drop area, and if, if so, negate that blocker. Um, assassin Hit, uh, what does negate the blocker mean? Uh, this effect returns the, the target of the attack to the original target of the attack, prior to it being changed by the activation of blocker. So basically, you swing at your opponent, discard a uh, red card if your opponent happens to use a blocker. That blocker is still... It attempts to activate, but now uh, your attack will go back to the original target. Uh, question two: When your opponent activates blocker, if you negate that blocker with uh, assassin skill, does the blocker with does the card with blocker return to active mode? No, it does not because they attempted to activate it and it just got negated. Um, question three: Can you choose not to draw cards off of assassin hits auto skill? No, you cannot. You must draw a card. Just like all leaders, if it says draw a card when it does this, this, and this, if, unless it says you may or it says up to, then you gotta do it. Um, question four: um, You negated the opponent's blocker with assassin assassin hit, auto skill. Then, if there are any other cards with blocker, can your opponent activate another blocker to change the target of the attack? Yes, they can. So even though you negated their first blocker, they still have a window to activate a second blocker. So for our next set of questions, we'll be talking about manipulating God Champa. Um, it's a 5,001 drop. When you play this card, look at the top seven cards. Look up the seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose one red Champa among them and add your hand and shuffle your deck. So the first question is, you activate the skill that allows you to search your deck. Uh, as part of resolving the skill, can you take a look at the cards in your deck and confirm what cards are in your deck in your life area? No, you cannot. Resolve the skill as quickly as possible and do not look at other cards unless absolutely necessary. So you can't look at the eighth card, what you could have gotten, you can't keep looking through your deck to see if you have more stuff in there. You have the top seven. Uh, you either get a target or you not, and shuffle your deck. That is it. Um, when looking at a spe uh, specified number of cards on the top of your deck, do you need to declare the number beforehand? No, that's not necessary. You can stop looking from the cards of your deck whenever you like, as long as you do not exceed the, the limit specified in the skill. This is a really good, because if you have a card, for instance, um, there's a Trunks. That allows you, that says look at the top two cards from set three, um, up to two, and then pick one, say, and discard the rest. So this will allow you to select one. Oh, this is the one I want, and do the rest. So what's really cool about this is that you don't have to declare what you're doing before. You just take one at a time, which is pretty dope. Question three. Um, you can add, can you add Destructive Terror Champa to your hand by using 007 Manipulating God Champa? Yes, you can. Destructive Terror Champa's uh, character name is Champa, so the card fulfills the conditions stated in the card text. So the card it is referring to is Destructive Terror Champa. It's right here. It's the six drop from set one. This is the card it's referring to. It is a five drop dual attack. Uh, when this card attacks, you get up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose one alien with 15,000 uh, or less among them and play it, and then shuffle your deck. So. Swing once, top three, summon something, swing again. You know, it's pretty cool. The next set of questions is for Bewitching God Vados. You activate a skill that allows you to search your deck. As part of resolving that skill, can you take a, a thorough look at the cards in your deck and confirm uh, cards in your deck in area, life area? No, you cannot. Resolve the skill as quickly as possible and do not look at other cards unless absolutely necessary. Just like the Champa, you cannot keep looking through your deck. You can look at the specified number. Uh, when looking at a specified number of cards on top of your deck, do you need to declare the number beforehand? No, you do not. You can choose as many as you want to look at. Stop uh, before or right when you reach um, the maximum number. And there you go. 
Question three, do you need to pay the energy cost of cards via card skills? No, you do not need to pay the pay unless the otherwise specified. So when you summon something with this card, you do not need to pay the cost. This is the vitals for the next set of questions. Um, is a three drop. When you play this card, look at the three cards from the top of your deck. Choose one uh, red alien among them and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. The first question for this is, as you activated the skill to look through your deck as part of resolving that skill, can you take a look at the cards in your deck and confirm what cards are in your deck and life area? No, you cannot. You look at the cards specified, um, the number specified. You can't go any further. You can go less than. You can't go more than. Question two, when you, when looking at specified number of cards from the top of your deck, do you need to declare the number beforehand? Just like all the other ones, you do not need to declare the ones beforehand. Uh, this is the next card that we'll be talking about. You'll see the card says Arata at the bottom. The only thing that Arata is, is turning this card into a super combo. Um, basically, it'll just say super combo on it since set three introduced more combos. Um, when you combo this card, if your leader card is red, and your life is four or lower, draw one card and add 10,000 to this card's combo power for the direction of the turn. Um, so the Q&A says, can you include a total of five or more cards with super combo in your deck if they're split between your deck and side deck? No, you cannot. You can only uh, include four cards with super combo combined between your deck and side deck. Uh, Divine Vardos has been arrived to have super combo. So that is the super combo. I was not lying to you, boys and girls. So lightning fast hit is the next set of questions. It is a six drop, which can evolve for five, double strike. When this card evolves, when a card evolves into this card, it inflicts two damage to your opponent. Um, lightning fast hit, inflict damage to your opponent with this auto skill. Does the owner of lightning fast hit choose which cards of opponent's life add to their hand? No, they do not. The player who was damaged chooses which cards add to their hand, which makes sense. Wasn't trying to lie to you. It's pretty cute. So the next one is about uh, Saiyan Kappa. Um, it's a one drop. When this card attacks, you may choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. If you do, this card gains 10,000 power and ten and double strike. Uh, Saiyan Kappa's uh, effect. When adding cards from your life to your hand with Saiyan Kappa skill, can you choose which card to add to your hand? Yes, you can, but you cannot look at the card beforehand. 